Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Fritz Kastner. I'm the CEO of Colin Lab and Pilot Solutions. A warm welcome here in our premises in Meitenbeet. Today I'm very proud to present to you our new Colin pilot line, which is capable to produce blown film and cast film. My name is Corné Verstrade. I'm the CSO from Colin Lab and Pilot Solutions. And we have here our newest line uh, which has got a width of 800 millimeters and the outlet speed of 100 meters a minute. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Franz Krajewski. I'm the manager of the process technology from, from Colin Lab and Pilot Solutions. I'm glad to have the opportunity today to show you the latest pilot line from Colin, which is a combination of blown film and flat film. The line it has also an MDO, which is a stretching unit, before we are going into the turret winder, which is also a development of Colin. During the, this film, I will show you the details of this line and the special functional elements. Follow me and we will start with the extrusion part. So we are here now in the core part of the line, which is the extrusion part. In this case, it consists out of five layers. So we have five extruders, uh, two 45 millimeters and three 30 millimeter extruders. Uh, so in total, we can reach a maximum throughput of about 350 kilograms per hour. Each extruder has a control panel, uh, which is a touch screen. We have a torque drive and very important is the extruders are flanged to the die with so-called C-clamps. That gives you a big advantage if you have to change from blown film to, uh, to cast film because you have just to open one screw and you can push back the extruder and all the, uh, the cabling, uh, water and these things are flexible so that it is very easy to push back the extruders uh, for the change. One important detail I would show you now, which is the uh, electrical height adjustment of each single extruder. It, this is necessary because we have a two process uh, line for blown film, but also for cast film. That means we have to adapt the height of the extruders to the connections to the die and to shorten as much as possible the changing times it is very important to have this electrical height adjustment of each extruder we are going now up to the upper levels of the line we are now here at the first level of this very massive steel construction in which all the functional uh, parts or components of the line are built in. Here we see the uh, calibration basket, which is fully movable electrically. It is in the diameter, but also in the heights. And all the movement can be controlled from this panel. Here we have a look into the lay flat from the downside and we see also the side guiding systems. Now we are here at the top level of the line, which is about 12 meters in height. And the total length, by the way, of this line is about 20 meters. We see here the upper part of the lay flat with a hole off, uh, with the side guiding elements and the turning bar system. In case of Colin lines, we are using a vertical turning bar system. The guiding rolls here are coated with a special anti-sticking metal part. And in addition, we have also a fine air film, which guarantees you that the, uh, the film is gliding very well without any sticking. Uh, here we see the film guiding system to give a proper position of the film before it goes down to the 
uh, bottom part of the line. And here we see the HMI where I can do all the functions which are necessary above here, which is uh, closing the hall off gap, but also the movement of the guiding system and so on. Here we see the turning bar system in function. We see here the first uh, turnover of the film and the the movement in, will go in this direction and later on it changes into this direction. We are now back on the floor and we are here standing at the central HMI where we can see all the parameters of the line and we can do all the settings of all parameters. We have here a screen for all the extruders. We see here screw speed, amps and also the pressure. We can see here all the dosing materials in kilograms per hour and we have here the parameters of the blown film tower <coughs> uh, and at the end from here the operator also can see the winder over there. Here we have a thickness measurement where the film thickness is measured and shown here uh, the green uh, curve is the uh, actual value and the dark curve is the mean value. We are here now at the turret winder of Colin. This is a development of Colin which was done in the last few years and it runs very successful. We see here the hall of unit. We have here a ionization unit, Corona station. We have here a, a web guiding system and I will show you now the change of a wind in this winder. The winder here is covered by a light curtain for safety reasons. If somebody is moving into that, all the movement of the winder has to be stopped. I will start now the change of the wind. Now the, the full wind is coming in to the front position and the new one moves back. Now the cutting knife is starting to move into the cutting position and now the cut will come and the change is done.